Hey, what's up folks? This is Jesse with Keeping a Real Finance channel that always has your back and tells it like it is. Well, today's video is going to be a monster update on the Kadena blockchain and the KDA token. So they released a roadmap uh, right, roughly right about a week ago or so, and uh, it has some massive items that are in it. So I wanted to talk about that in today's video. We're gonna go through the 2022 roadmap, and I'm gonna highlight everything that I see extremely important. Uh, once we're done with that, I'm gonna go into the chart and show you where I think the current chart is at for KDA. Uh, this one is primed. It is kind of right where we want it. It is in a fantastic spot, and that's why I had to do this video for you today. So, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like button. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you click the bell, you'll be made aware whenever I post time-sensitive content just like this. And now, let's get it going. So as I mentioned in the intro, we're gonna kick this video off by going straight into the newly announced 2022 roadmap for Kadena, okay? So here we go. Uh, for the platform, we've got Pact Core V1 that's coming in 2022, uh, signing Kadena transactions with a Ledger hardware wallet. That's pretty awesome, right? We've also got wallet API support for signing multiple transactions in one request. Love that, great idea, right? Uh, we've got Chainweaver token support. So these are all for the platform. Big news, big items, all coming in 2022. Now for the ecosystem, they've got a lot more here. So the first DEX on Kadena, this is Kadex. Uh, if you go to kadex.com, it looks like this. Kadex, the evolution of DeFi on Kadena, safe DeFi with our gas-free DEX. Well, I like the sound of that, and hopefully you do too, right? Now, in fact, Kadena even commented on it in this post. Uh, Kadex's light paper gives users an overview of how a DEX on Kadena leverages our scalable proof-of-work blockchain. No gas costs, lightning fast trades, proof-of-work security, infinitely scalable, run by a DAO. That's a decentralized autonomous organization. Absolutely awesome, right? Now, in fact, if you are located outside the USA right now, you can go to Tokensoft Inc. and sign up for the public sale of Kadex. It's the KDX token, all right? And it starts on February 1st, so you can sign up right now for that. If you're in the US, like I am, unfortunately, we're screwed again. <laughs> We do not get access to this if you're in the U.S. So if you're outside the U.S., highly recommend taking advantage of this one, right? Now, uh, then we have wrapped native tokens launched on Kadena. This is the next piece of news with uh, KBTC, KETH, and KUSD. We've got Marmalade. I, I, I don't know if any of you out there have heard of Marmalade yet, but this is the Marmalade NFT standard launched on Kadena, which can be found at marmalade.art. So the sales pitch is unlike other markets, Marmalade offers 100% on-chain transactions, high quality provenance, low gas fees, and shared ownership that can span platforms. It goes on to say, you'll never have to slow down and ask, is it safe? Will it scale? Will my marketplace su uh, support it? What's next? Okay, so really like that. So it looks like they're in the beginning phases of Marmalade. So look for more news to come on that front. Okay, now we then have ecosystem initiatives phase one and two major partnerships, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, right? That's a really big deal. So they've got a lot of major partnerships coming in 2022. These always make projects move. They've got that coming. Uh, marketing collaboration, which by the way, this video is not. <laughs> this is just me simply reviewing a project that I like, that I reviewed last year, and now I'm updating you, all right? Uh, additional global exchange listings. So this is kind of, you know, a, a teaser, right? Additional global exchange listings. Well, who could that be? Obviously, the, the elephant in the room, Binance, 
uh, Huobi Global maybe, you know, who knows? There could be multiple exchanges that are coming on a worldwide scale. Then they also announced US exchange listings coming in 2022. That tells me, again, the elephant in the room, Coinbase, Voyager, uh, Kraken, right? There's multiple US exchanges, could be any of those. So that is monster news. So we know more exchange listings are coming. So right now is the time to get in on this one, right? Now, uh, Cadena EVM Decentralized Bridge Infrastructure Testnet, that's a big deal. The Cadena Cosmos IBC Bridge Terra Testnet, another big deal. A uh, lending platform infrastructure. Cadena Sustainable Mining Initiative, Cadena Developer Documentation V2, uh, Developer Ambassador and Grant Programs, that's extremely important for getting the word out about Cadena and you know propelling it forward. And lastly, Community Bootcamp. So overall, Cadena has an absolute ton of things that they are going to be working on in 2022. Now, where I've been picking up Cadena all along is through KuCoin. Uh, you can get it on there whether you're based in the U.S. or outside the U.S., so I highly recommend going to KuCoin. And I do have a referral link for KuCoin as well as for other platforms as well in the uh, video description. If you follow any of those links, you usually get uh, some type of Simon Up bonus, uh, whatever they're offering there for that particular platform. When you do, it also helps support the channel. So big thanks all around and check out those sign up links, all right? Now, now that we're done covering the roadmap, I wanna go straight into what the chart is doing, and here we go. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the Cadena chart from KuCoin. This is paired with USDT. And what I went ahead and did is I added a couple of trend lines here so you can see the channel that Cadena is currently trading in. And where it's sitting right now is in an absolutely perfect spot. So I had actually tweeted earlier today that uh, I was looking at some different altcoin charts and a few of these had really juicy charts. This is one of them. It is at the very bottom of the trend line. So you couldn't possibly get a better buying opportunity than where it's at uh, roughly right now, okay? Now, if you look at this trend, if it continued within this channel throughout the end of the year, it would finish the year roughly somewhere around you know $12 at the bottom and probably about 38 for the top if it stays within that channel. I actually think based on the upcoming news that they may have, especially with uh, various exchange listings in the US and outside the US, it could, it could easily exceed that previous high that we had here in uh, November. Uh, what was that, roughly around $30 or so. Once it passes that, it's in price discovery mode, who knows, okay? So the bottom line here is where it's at right now is in a very good spot to be doing a, a DCA, to be adding to your position, however you want to do it. Uh, but there is a ton of potential there. Now, I'd also like to point out the volume that's going on in, in KDA right now. It's got some significant volume. You can see a lot of it over the last you know couple of months has been red volume. But we have had some big time green uh, volume spikes like this last one right here. That's a big one. Uh, if you're looking at the RSI, what the RSI tells us is that Cadena recently was oversold pretty badly, and now it's rebounding upward. Now, depending on the news that came out of the Fed, uh, could that knock it back down a little bit? Possibly. Uh, you know, it, it, it's okay if it goes down a little from here. Really, you got to look at this long-term trend for the whole year. That's what's important, all right? Now, lastly, at the bottom down here in the market cipher, you can see where the, the money outflow kind of bottomed out with Cadena roughly around early July, about July 9th or so. And from there, money started flowing into Cadena as more and more people found out about it, ultimately peaking roughly in November, about four months later. After that, it, you know, it started to dip kind of with everything else. We had some money outflow that started here and the money has been out of it uh, for a little while now, for roughly a couple of months. So we have had some green dots here that are showing up. If we have another green dot somewhere around here, that'd be considered a trigger wave. And that would be uh, indicative of the money inflow coming into Cadena. So the way I see this one is based on that roadmap that they have and the, uh, the exchange listings within the US, outside the US, uh, 2022 is gonna shape up to be a monster year for Cadena. 
And this could be one of those coins, kind of like Solana, kind of like Avalanche. Uh, you know, they, they don't move for a really long time. Everybody thinks they're crap. And then all of a sudden they absolutely blast off. And I think Kadena could do the exact same thing. So here it is right here uh, today. You know, it's it's at roughly, you know, just under six. It's at, uh, what is it, 584. Um, you know, if it stayed within the channel bottom of the year, it's still more than doubling where it is today. So I don't see anything wrong with this one. I think it's a, a fantastic play. Depending on whatever happens with the Bitcoin cycle, uh, it, it looks like it's being extended by all accounts. So uh, does, am I saying it's going to end the year uh, extremely high? No, but I am saying that it, it could absolutely peak out well above this channel at some point uh, during the next six months or so. So I think this is a fantastic buy right now, and that's why I wanted to share it with you today. All right. All right. For some final thoughts on Kadena. So if you can't tell by the tone of this video, obviously I am extremely bullish on this 2022 roadmap. I have seen what's happened with other blockchains, as I mentioned earlier. You know, even something like an avalanche. I remember buying an avalanche, it wasn't worth nothing. It farted around for months and months and months, and then all of a sudden it took off, right? Uh, same thing with Solana. There's tons of people, you know, bashing it. Eh, it's never going to do anything. It's never going to take off. SBF was behind it the whole time, and then it absolutely exploded, right? So I have no doubt that Kadena could do the exact same thing. Really, all it's got to do is break past 30, and then we're in price discovery mode. So, you know, you think about uh, if we have a cycle going, what that could look like for Kadena. I mean, it could be an absolute monster year. So at the very bottom, in terms of like a price prediction, you're, you're doing at least a two to three X on this thing. And on the top end, you know, it's only 580 right now. Uh, it could easily go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 X uh, easily. Okay. So there is lots and lots of opportunity here for the Kadena blockchain. And it's a really, really good project. If you ever saw my uh, previous video that I did on it, uh, one of the advisors here is Dr. Stuart Haber. He is one of the uh, foremost cited people in the entire Bitcoin white paper. Uh, he is an advisor to Kadena. So Kadena, uh, the way I looked at it before and the way I still look at it, is that it's basically uh, Bitcoin improved. And that, that's kind of what it sums up to be here, okay? So there's an absolute ton of potential here with Kadena. And right now, you know, you can get it on KuCoin, I think maybe gate.io and only like one or two other places. So it really isn't out there yet. So now is the time to capitalize before it's in all those other markets. So when they add those exchange listings this year for global and US, there's going to be a lot more exposure on Kadena. Now, Kadena made, you know, a hell of a run at the end of last year. It did really well. And then it's sort of dropped off since. OK. Um, where it's sitting at right now, at the very bottom of the channel, it is in a fantastic spot. Uh, you know, whether you're going to pick some up today, tomorrow, whether you're going to DCA, that's typically what I do. I like to do small buys so that I'm not sinking a big chunk in and then the market goes down, right? Uh, so a lot of potential here and uh, really just a ton of news for Kadena in 2022. So I'm really bullish on this one. We've got a juicy chart uh, that's teed up. It's primed. You know, we've got the work. We primed this one. It's, it's getting ready to go. So I think it's in an absolute great spot. I picked some additional Kadena up today. I plan on picking some up tomorrow and for the foreseeable future. I'll just kind of keep my DCA going and add to my position there. Uh, so overall, fantastic project. Love the roadmap. You know, I read some of the comments on coin market cap. Uh, you know, people saying, oh, yeah, this is a scam and they didn't live up to this or they didn't live up to that. What are you talking about? You know, you, you really can't go by all these people that say that because you don't know where they're coming from. Uh, nothing, any of the scam comments, none of them make any sense. And I can't follow the logic in any of them anywhere. So I'm disregarding them and I'm simply looking at the chart. I'm looking at the roadmap and I'm telling you what I see here. So am I personally buying this one? Yes, I am. Is it part of my portfolio? Yes, it is. And will I keep adding to it? Yes, I will. All right. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget that I'm also on Twitter at KIR Finance, where you can find me tweeting and retweeting on a regular basis. Check me out there. And for a friendly reminder, this is Jesse with Keeping a Real Finance, the channel that always has your back and tells it like it is. And I will see you on the next one. Later.